Welcome everybody to Planet Chillaxation. Um, I've decided to uh, cover a video today about Bobby Hemet. We're going to talk more about uh, the origins of the man behind the information. Uh, Bobby Hemet is someone that uh, we is, you know, conscious um, and knowledge seekers uh, look up to and have revered um, out of many of the teachers that um, have come across the dais of studies uh, one that stands out amongst all others would be Bobby Hemet for his ability to um, expound on occult knowledge and give us breakdowns where other spiritual um coaches teachers however you would refer to them have uh more so in the sh in the uh, past shied away from uh, touching these these occult topics and these topics that um we were you know raised or taught to be afraid of uh bobby Hemet is one of the pioneers um in this teaching um, i believe and um one of the first black um conscious leaders that we've known on a on a public scale to speak about it publicly um i know there's a lot of white um practitioners of this information i wouldn't even call them scholars because you have to have melanin in order in my opinion to be um a scholar and and um that's my opinion um i feel like uh, Bobby Hemet is one of those uh, polarizing figures that uh, would basically, you know, give it to you straight, no cut, raw, uncut, um, clean, precise. Uh, you're also able to reference a lot of his work and a lot of his work. Uh, he flows straight from the spirit because he had studied this information for so long. Um, I'm a firm believer in that you can feel truth and that you can feel when a person is being genuine um also being when a person is lying to you or when a person is being disingenuous uh the passion i feel that bobby had uh for the you know uh, dissemination of this type of information to uh, people who he know now and in the future would need it uh, was unmatched uh, you know there's a lot of people that came up with uh, Bobby Hemet. One that sticks out to me uh, is Mr. Phil Valentine, who's still around. And, um, you know, even he would touch on certain topics but never go too deep into it. Um, to me, to not lose his audience or have them go astray later. And Bobby Hemet didn't care about any of that. He was more so about putting the information out and, um, you know, breaking it down to a point that we could understand uh, uh, knowing a race of people that were oppressed and made to be afraid of their own power uh, so today we're just going to go over a couple things uh, that I feel stand out and uh, support this idea of us waking back up to our godhood I like it in our goddesshood uh, one of the biggest things right now is that uh, we continue to research on our own we continue to do the work I uh, can't skip that part a lot of people think that you can just listen to audios or uh, you're able to just you know listen to someone else talk or have someone else show you one thing I learned is that even with Bobby Hemet uh, he will leave the book references and it's really good to write those books down um, I've since archived uh, a lot of the books um, that he states in his lectures because when I initially stumbled across Bobby Hemet um, I wasn't even really you know thinking to archive certain videos and things like that and um, a lot of those videos have since been scrubbed from the internet so you know uh, I was kick, kind of kicking myself in the foot there um, about not doing that but ever since I started to notice that I started to just more so archive 
uh, Bobby Hemet videos, you know, lectures, um, the uh, ancestor uh, list, Ashe, and uh, you know, the gods list, Ashe, uh, to all the gods known and unknown, Ashe, um, and just, you know, also uh, any books uh, by the title and author that he would state. Um, I was always mindful to uh, start to record those and uh, you know after that date once I realized that uh, this information was something that I could glue to you know and uh, once I started thinking about you know the information and what I would think about it I wasn't left with a wondering or a believing someone else's word or perspective i was able to go into the book and read and you know surmise for myself what i thought uh, this passage was saying or the perspective that bobby Hemmett mentioned how it correlates uh, to what i read things of that nature um, so that's something that i definitely encourage all of us to continue to do uh, because i know even finding these types of videos and you know this type of material um, it is a search and it comes from within and I continue to pursue that and I encourage others to continue to pursue that especially followers or supporters of this channel uh, planet chillaxation is all about uh, preparing you for your ascension so thank you guys uh, for continuing to support the channel um, I ask that you I command that you like the video I command that you share the video and I command that you subscribe and have your friends and others subscribe uh, go to other pages and subscribe let's build this community up and uh, let's continue to do what Bobby Hemmings laid the tracks and the as uh, the forefather of studying the occult um, this is something that a lot of black people aren't into a lot of people of the Americas aren't into and um uh, you know, quite frankly, this is our power. This is what they tried to hide from us. Uh, that's one thing that we have to understand and understand that this information is not just uh, entertainment, but that it's it's hidden uh, mysticism. You know, uh, shroud and folklore and myth and mythology. Uh, I believe that it just existed at a different time time that we are may may or may not be able to process and um there's truth to everything to me you know even in certain lies or misperceptions and misconceptions things of that nature um it all starts from an origin of truth the truth reigns supreme uh facts change but the truth is constant um so that's one thing that we need to seek as truth seekers, we know that uh, the man who knows something knows he knows nothing at all. So we're going to continue to build each other and ourselves as individuals. So that way uh, we can have the strength and the power and knowledge and uh, be motivated and influenced in a positive way to pursue the occult knowledge and information, esoteric, exoteric information uh, in the form of an individual from our own perspective and then that way um we we too may be able to be able to you know start classes and lectures things of that nature um but i'm definitely going to start making more and more of these types of videos so you guys can definitely expect that uh, it's time to build and it's time for our communities to come and uh, work research compile archive um stack you know dig for all of this type of information so that way it's not scrubbed and castigated to the you know uh, outer limits of the internet or online that's what they're trying to do because they know that this information um, is the key to unlocking uh, what is truly hidden or occult which just means hidden knowledge uh, hidden you know and unlocking that hidden knowledge within uh, so that way we are able to manipulate the physical uh, i believe that it's time for us to take this serious um i know that i have this has been a hard push for me 
for whatever reason um i know for a lot of others you may even be facing this same challenge um i'm taking a chance now to just do it get out here and be consistent and uh you know follow my heart my passion and not be afraid to expound on what i believe and uh, talk to my people so you know this message isn't for everybody but it's for the right ones it's for the right people so um you know planet chillaxation we have our own planet um and you know we we just drop gems and um, i appreciate everybody commenting and leaving you know real comments genuine comments um i read every comment i reply to every comment um so you know i take in your perspective as well it means something to me and um you know if it's something that i don't know i'm always excited to be enlightened um, so definitely continue to share those comments uh, comments are really big on my page i'm noticing right now um, i like to get the like the likes on the videos up as well um, so that the uh, algorithm can share the video and the content uh, but we're going to continue to go in and um, talk about you know what we feel and um, i want you guys to spam this up a whole bunch of comments um, down at the bottom so that way it will uh, create a dialogue and uh, stimulate further conversation and topics that we can all talk about and teach about uh, once we actually are able to pull ourselves to that place uh, one of the biggest things uh, that i've noticed as well is also having unwavering confidence in the spirit the higher self source the universe uh, from within not outside of yourself uh, so have more confidence in knowing that you know what you know and have more confidence in furthering your your research on things and places you're not comfortable looking because that's to me just where they would hide um, you know that's where the hidden information is so the more confident we feel in uh, pursuing that information the easier it'll be for us to access interpret and understand and understand and I believe that strength strengthens the confidence that we have within uh, for ourselves, our spirit the universe and source uh, this is also a big way to uh, promote more of what it is you want to see in your life manifest where energy goes energy flows so thank you guys uh, again i command that you like share and comment leave a comment about what you think i said leave a comment about your perspective uh, leave a comment let's create a dialogue the call to action for this video is to leave a comment thank you